You're watching Better.TV. Home, family, life. Well, you've heard of bedroom eyes. Is it just a look you give or can you achieve it with makeup? Let's check in with Nicole to find out. They say that the eyes are the window to the soul, but to some ladies, they're an invitation for a whole lot more. Here are some of the most famous bedroom eyes and the women who have them. Betty Davis perhaps had the most famous pair of bedroom eyes. They even inspired a pop song called Betty Davis Eyes. Mae West had a pair of very famous bedroom eyes and the curves to back them up. Carol Lombard set her famous pair of eyes on Clark Gable and she got her man. And famous 1930s seductress Greta Garbo said, I never said I want to be alone. I only said I want to be left alone. We can only assume that that meant there was a trail of men behind her because of that famous stare. Well, it looks like they're being playful, or at least intend to be later in the evening. But it's serious business for one Terry Lodge of Blush Premier Makeup Artistry. She's going to show us how to achieve that look ourselves so we can take it home or out on the town. So I got three different color shadows for you to do a basic smoky eye bedroom eye. And they're all three matte because they're really easy to do with matte shadows. So I'm going to take our first one, which is your lid cutter color. It's kind of a soft matte, and I'm just going to put it all over your lid. So matte just means no shimmer? No shimmer. It means really flat. Then I'm going to take a lighter color in the matte, and I'm going to put it right up here by your brow. And I'm going to carry it down right through the center here in front on the inside of the eye. I'm just going to kind of blend it out softly. Now, with this type of eye, we're not going to go all the way through the crease like you would normally when you're doing your makeup. With the three shadows, we're just going to focus on the outside corner. I am just going to concentrate the dark color right here. We're going to do like a little V in the outside corner. And you can do this as dark or as light, or as smoky as you're looking for. For daytime, I would keep it a little softer. At nighttime, you can just vamp it up all you want. A smoky eye is really easy to achieve, and you just want to blend. The key to good shadow is always blending. You don't ever want to see lines of demarcation. You want it to be a seamless movement all the way up the top and it's really fast that's amazing because i always think of it as, as pretty labor intensive mm -mm. no because it's two colors color on your lid color on your brow and then a v basically a squished v on the outside corners and then what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of liner and i'm just going to take this across the top of your lash line and then i'm also going to put just a little bit of lashes on the outside corner one of the things that was really common with the look back then was they used corner lashes so if you really wanted to take your bedroom eyes into the bedroom, would they would they stay? Would your eyelashes stay? They could stay. And you can just peel them off and use them again tomorrow. I wouldn't sleep in them though. Oh, we wouldn't sleep. <laughs> so everything old is new again. Their bedroom eye is our smoky eye. And you should play with it. It's very non-committal. It's not like tattooing. You can change your look in a matter of minutes. So grab a girlfriend, put on a flapper dress, and head out to a speakeasy. But make sure you take your bedroom eyes with you. For better, I'm Nicole. And I'm going to find something to do and somewhere to go, because this is as good as I've looked in a long time. Back to you guys. <laughs> this has been Better.TV. We're always on with tips and ideas to make your life better. Send us your thoughts, ideas at Better.TV. Together, we'll make your home, family, and life better. Thanks for watching.